What did you do? What was your best strategy so yeah, far? For One of the big things that we're trying to teach in these labs is critical thinking. How do you evaluate data? How do you critically distinguish and judge experimental designs or methods or conclusions or claims or whatever it might be? So often the traditional labs, there's sort of a procedure that the students have to follow. They answer a series of questions. It tells them, now do this, now do this, and they do it without really thinking, why am I doing this? Is this the best way to do it? Is there another way that I could have done this? So there's no element of sort of discovery or kind of authentic scientific inquiry. The answer is kind of predetermined beforehand, which is not how scientists do science at all. And so what we've been doing is trying to provide students with a much more authentic experience. So we're really trying to dissect the experimental process and get them to think piecewise about all of the different components. The students get to have way more ownership over the experiments that they're conducting. So rather than an instructor saying, this is the experiment you're going to run, it's their experiment. They've made the decisions about what they're going to do and why they're going to do it. And at the end, the result that they get is their result. And whether or not it agrees with you know, sort of the canonical physics principles is irrelevant. It's about this bit. What does your data say? And really is about basing things on the results and the methods and things that they've gotten. These skills are important for students wherever they end up going to be able to sort of make sense of data and critique experiments and claims in the media or wherever it might be.